So, uh, hello, uh, welcome everybody in my uh, next vlog. Uh, today the vlog is uh, entitled uh, My Sweet Spot with my Agile book. Uh, I would like to start that uh, life, professional life of Agile entrepreneur, which I am, scientist entrepreneur. Um, it's not only about direct networking and initiating uh, business, uh, collaborations but it's also uh, about reading and uh, reading especially agile books of course and the reason why I'm here is actually I'm in the front of my favorite spot this time in Hague uh, I'm uh, in the front uh, of uh, Central Library in The Hague uh, and uh, why uh, reading is important uh, part of uh, my entrepreneurial life uh, because especially during this pandemics, um, I realized that actually self-educating by reading the Agile books is very important investment. It's time investment and this education investment. And reading these very important books, which one I will present inside, uh, is uh, actually um, very crucial because I, I implement content of this very inspiring for me and crucial books uh, into development of my uh, business, of my startup uh, and of my knowledge. So uh, the library which I just told you that I'm standing in front of is a great place for me uh, because it not only offers corner coffee, uh, free Wi-Fi uh, spots where you can use your laptop or computer work but also great reading area with uh, magazines such as Forbes and also coaching magazines which are indeed important for me uh, to also uh, read and educate myself so well I invite you to get in with me and hear uh, about uh, where exactly I'm finding my favorite agile books so I'm already in my sweet spot uh, I'm sitting here um, to present you the actually one of my most favorite books. Uh, the book is actually called Agile Transformieren, uh, which can be translated to English Agile Transformation. And what I like about this book is that this book is written by four authors: uh, Bas van Lieshout, Hendrik Jan van der Waal, Astrid Karsten, and Rini van Solingen. What I found definitely nice uh, as the beginning to tell you a little bit about this book is that uh, Bas van Lieshout is professional scrum trainer, is also agile transformation lead and it's working by Pro Awareness We Own. Hendrik Jan uh, actually studied uh, informatics at TU Delft, so Technical University Delft, uh, and is also transformation lead. Uh, Astrid uh, Karsten is performance coach uh, and Rini van Solingen is actually established a writer of Agile books. So definitely this team of authors represents already Agile team with very different professional uh, backgrounds uh, and uh, what I'd like to uh, uh, in that case tell about this book uh, this book has 184 pages so it will be impossible to tell me a lot of things about this book uh, so I'm going to give you and share with you some flavors of this book, give you some highlights and hopefully you'll find it very interesting and inspiring. And also nice learning experience. So the uh, book is divided in three parts. The first part of this book is about uh, why uh, actually it's important to transfer, trans perform transformations applying Agile and what is Agile. And definitely what I like about this part uh, A is that Agile, uh, what I already mentioned in previous vlogs, is embracing change, is about change. And Agile also can be very much related not only to perform transition uh, in organizations, uh, to embrace, to change something for better structure, for better structure, for better uh, work culture, but this Agile is also about uh, I'm implementing change to change, for example, your career path to do transition. Uh, so that's important thing. And agile also in transformation, uh, in this agile transition and agile transformation is 
also not about making very big plan. It's also about performing this change in making very small steps. So uh, the other thing which I very much was inspired is that agile transformation is about thinking big, but starting small and doing things in small steps to perform this transformation. The part B is about actually how to perform this transformation, edge of transformation. And definitely there are eight steps. And what I like about these eight steps is that they really show in a very logical way the steps of the process which leads to a change, to successful change. So first three steps are define scope, do research, and also uh, communicate urgency, why this change is so much required, so much needed. And it can be applied to your professional career path, can be applied to also organizations, to startups, when you want to change something. Uh, and definitely these three steps, scope, doing research and urgency, are about actually defining the vision, uh, which is it will be actually leading to this change. The next steps are uh, so next five steps about executing this vision and this are making a scheme start to draw how this change is supposed to look like uh, thinking and also writing down um, transformation strategy and finally which these two processes a drawing exercise will lead to uh, creating and generating transformation roadmap and then implementing this roadmap this already uh, drawn um, um, uh, roadmap into a short iteration cycles, which will lead finally to a change, which will be the result. And the final step is actually of this change, which we can uh, describe both in qualitative and quantitative way, is actually performing measurement. So that's what very often is called all key R's, objectives and results, when we can really measure how, uh, uh, and by measuring, we describe this change, how big this change uh, is, and how successful this uh, change was for us and for our organizations or for our companies. So, this is in brief. Um, part B of the book and I hope if you want to know more please uh, well uh, find this book this book I also will put in the comments it's also available in online edition so uh, I'm really highly recommending it uh, and definitely this uh, book uh, I'm going to also another part C present in other vlogs uh, so uh, please stay tuned in and see you in the next vlog